For centuries, whispers of secret societies have echoed through history. But what if I told you they still exist today, weaving their hidden influence into the very fabric of American society? Who are these shadowy groups, and how far does their power extend? Could decisions that affect millions be made in secret chambers, out of sight from the public eye? From the elusive Freemasons to the infamous Skull and Bones, secret societies in the United States are not just the stuff of conspiracy theories. They are real organizations with deep roots in history, power, and intrigue. But these groups didn't just appear out of nowhere. Their origins stretch back centuries, crossing continents and influencing cultures long before they became embedded in American soil. Let's peel back the layers to uncover who they are, what they stand for, and how their clandestine activities may still shape the world today. The Freemasons, the builders of history. Perhaps the most well-known secret society, the Freemasons, are often associated with grand conspiracy theories involving world domination. Their origin can be traced back to medieval Europe, specifically to the stonemasons who built cathedrals and other monumental structures. As time passed, these builders became less about literal construction and more about philosophical and symbolic building of societies, governments, and even thought itself. Freemasonry came to America in the early 18th century, and by the time the United States was founded, many of its most influential figures were Freemasons. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and other founding fathers are widely believed to have been Masons. Their symbols, such as the all-seeing eye and the unfinished pyramid, are even embedded in American currency. But what do these symbols represent? Could they be messages meant for those in the know, guiding hidden hands behind the rise and fall of nations? While Freemasonry claims to promote morality, charity and brotherhood, its critics argue that it has fostered elitism and secrecy, operating behind closed doors where only select members are privy to the society's true goals. Could these rituals and handshakes simply be the trappings of fraternity? Or is there something more? Skull and Bones, the power behind the throne. If the Freemasons are an ancient order, Skull and Bones is a distinctly American creation, though no less mysterious. Founded in 1832 at Yale University, this secret society has included some of the most powerful men in American politics and business. Presidents, senators and titans of industry have all reportedly donned the cloak of Skull and Bones. George H. W. Bush and his son George W. Bush are rumored to have been members along with prominent figures like John Kerry. Skull and Bones has long been accused of manipulating global politics from the shadows, placing its members in positions of power and influence to further a hidden agenda. With initiation rituals that allegedly involve oaths of secrecy, mock funerals and bizarre ceremonies, this society is shrouded in enough mystique to fuel speculation. Are these merely traditions or is there a darker purpose behind them? The Illuminati the ultimate puppet masters. Perhaps no secret society has garnered more controversy than the Illuminati. Originating in Bavaria in the late 1700s, this organization sought to promote enlightenment ideals, reason, secularism, and freedom from religious dogma. However, they were soon outlawed and driven underground. Rumors of the Illuminati's continued existence have persisted for centuries with some suggesting they are the puppet masters behind global events, pulling the strings of world leaders, financial markets, and media empires. Some of the most pervasive conspiracy theories today claim that the Illuminati is behind everything from the formation of the European Union to modern day social movements. But what if there's more than a kernel of truth in these claims? Could the Illuminati have infiltrated American institutions, subtly shaping decisions at the highest levels? Bohemian Grove, the elite's hidden retreat. Tucked away in the redwoods of California is another secretive group known as Bohemian Grove. Every summer, some of the most powerful men in the world, from politicians to business leaders, gather for two weeks of festivities that include strange rituals and discussions on world affairs. The secrecy surrounding Bohemian Grove has led to a flood of speculation. Journalists who have attempted to infiltrate the retreat describe bizarre ceremonies, including the symbolic burning of a human effigy beneath a giant owl statue. Officially, Bohemian Grove is described as a social club, 
But are these influential attendees simply blowing off steam, or are they plotting the future course of world events? The legacy of secrecy questions left unanswered. Secret societies have always walked a fine line between fraternity and conspiracy, between ritual and control. As you consider their histories and alleged activities, it's impossible not to wonder, what are they up to now? Have they really infiltrated the highest echelons of power? Or are they relics of a bygone era, more myth than reality? We may never know the full extent of their influence, but the very nature of their secrecy fuels our curiosity and suspicion. What is hidden from the public eye? What alliances are being forged? What decisions made in the shadows? Quotes to ponder. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society, and we are as a people inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. John F. Kennedy often linked to conspiracy theories involving secret societies. The real rulers in Washington are invisible and exercise power from behind the scenes. Felix Frankfurter, former US Supreme Court Justice, rumored to have skull and bones connections. If we are successful, and we will be, we will have a real chance at this new world order. George H. W. Bush, former US President and alleged skull and bones member. As we close this exploration of secret societies, consider this. If power truly lies in the shadows, are we merely watching the surface of a much deeper reality? What could be happening behind those closed doors and how much does it affect the world we live in? Will the truth ever fully come to light, make the background music dramatic and suspenseful cinematic music? <laughs>